Okay, welcome back to the channel. This video is a second in a series of showing you how to save and reload your parameters and programs, etc. If you've had to remove the battery from your board and you've lost the memory. Now this isn't a full reinitialize, this is just your basic parameters, settings, programs and variables and offsets. Um, but this is not how to reload the actual machine software itself and get really in depth with it. So this is just your basics. So to do this, what you're gonna need is the USB that you made from my previous video or that you already had. You might have it in the um, main booklet with your machine that's got your parameters, settings and everything backed up on it. Now, I don't mind a USB and obviously I've redone something yesterday anyway, so I'll show you. So the first thing you wanna do is take your floppy disk or your USB, put it into the machine. And then you wanna check that you've got what you need on the machine. So I go to edit, F1 accesses your menu at the top. Go across to inputs, outputs, floppy directory, and press enter. Now this is gonna show me what's on the USB. And here, you're a little bit far away, but you can see my files. So I've got 22810 is the start of every program. That's the number for every program. And that is my machine serial number. So yours will be your machine serial number. And then you've got OFS for offsets, VAR for variables, SET for settings, PAR for parameters, and PGM for your program. So you know they're there ready to use. Now, go back to your main programs menu. And what you wanna do is you wanna go into settings. Setting seven, which is your parameters lock, turn it off. And then go down to programs edit lock, 9,000 programs edit lock, and also turn that off. If you don't do that, it won't load your macros back in because you've obviously got it locked saying don't allow any editing. So turn them both to off and then go back to your main list program screen. Now I've reloaded my parameters and my settings and my macros and everything uh, yesterday after having the board out of the machine. So I've tweaked a couple of bits that were preferred how I like this machine, so I'm not gonna reload them again. Uh, but I will show you how to do it with the programs and then talk you through how to do the parameters because I'm not going to upload them ones. So on your list program screen, you've got down here it says F2 disk write, F3 disk read and F4 directory read. The only one we're going to use is F3 disk read. So your saved program for your program files will be your serial number, in my case 22810 dot and then it will be, where are we? PGM for programs. Now, you've got to do this on the program screen. You can't do it on any other. So once you're on the list program screen, 22810.pgm, or this will be replaced with your serial number. And then once you're there, press F3, and it will say floppy read, and it will start loading all the programs off the USB back into the machine. Obviously, I've got them here, so you're not gonna see much change but you can see that it's doing it right now. And then when it's done, it will say floppy done. Floppy done. So if that was blank, they'd have all loaded back in now. Now you have to do this for your variables, your parameters and your settings. So what you do to do them, you'd go onto your parameters page, just on page one, and you do the same, 22810 dot, and then your parameters file is P-A-R. And then you'd press F3, which I'm not going to do, and it will say floppy read. It will read all of your saved parameters of your USB or your disk and upload them into the machine. Then you'd do the same. Go to your settings page, 22810.set. And then F3 for disk read, and that will put all your settings back into the machine. When it's done, they'll say floppy done. And then for your macro variables, you need to go to current commands and then page up until you get to your first macro variables page. And then you'll do the same again, 22810. The variables are saved under VAR. And then you'd press F3 disk read and it will load up. Now the only one for some reason on my machine that I cannot get to work, or I couldn't get to work, is my offsets. 
If I go to my offset page and press to, I'll try this again, 22810.OFS, and then press F3 for disk read. Ah, well today it's actually working. Yesterday that didn't work, so that's good. I don't need it, but it worked. So now if we go to our offsets, the only one I should have in there now is tool 20, which is there, 135.984, because that's the only um, one that I saved when I'd done the backup. I didn't have any other tools loaded in it at the time. So there you go, it did work yesterday for me, so maybe if you have any issues, try once or twice. So yes, for your offsets, go to your offset page, 22810.ofs, F3 for disk read, and it will load it back up. So there you go, it's parameters on your parameters page, settings on your settings page, offsets on your offsets page, and then macro variables, current commands, up until you reach your first set of macro variables, and then you do that one from there. And then that loads it all back into your machine. Now if you wanna go back in afterwards, and just check that they look correct. If you've got your Hass handbook that came with the machine, you can just go through half a dozen of them to see if it's there. Now, I suggest that when you run a program for the first time, just double check, keep an eye on it, make sure it's not gonna do anything strange. Put a small program in the machine and watch it, because again, who knows if it missed something or there might be one parameter that didn't change, or maybe there's something that's been changed on the machine since your backup was done before. Hence why I'd always suggest doing a backup directly before you're gonna do it, not using one from five years ago, because you may have had a service tech or a maintenance guy come out and change some sort of spindle offset or who knows. So be careful when you're doing it. Um, again, disclaimer, all this is done at your own risk. I'm just showing you how to do it on my machine uh, and what I did to do it and save my settings. But I hope it helps. And then yeah, stay tuned for more videos on the Hasp.